the part that often unsettles people is the idea that you have to set standards. And you have to set standards if you're going to make a decision. I mean, you could collect data, but if you're not going to do anything with the data, why bother? So the standards can be defined in a couple of ways. Uh, as I said before, they can be very informal. You know, this was, this was adequate versus inadequate. But at some point, you have to have a boundary. So where do you define as being adequate versus in not adequate? Um, so these standards can take different forms depending on the decision that we make. Um, but to recognize any decision, every decision you're making requires a cut point. So if you're having a four-point grading scale, you'll need three cut points to separate those four categories. Uh, Pass-fail requires one. Um, so the more, the more points, the more gradations in your, in your judgments, the more cut points you're going to need. Uh, two types of standards. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail here just to make sure that you recognize that there are two types. The relative standard is one that depends on how well the group does as a whole. So it's not looking at an absolute score. We're simply saying that the top 10% are going to get honors or commendation or uh, you know, graduation with excellence. 10% uh, of the class will get an A. That 10%, the score for that may drift all the way down to 50% on the final exam. But the top 10%, no matter what their scores are, will get the A. So that's just grading on the curve. Something some of you may like, some may not like, but it is a, uh, a way of setting standards. And it's, these standards are designed to get a specific number of people in a specific category. What's probably more common is to have the absolute standards where we want to define a score, a quantification on our assessment that people have to reach in order to achieve in our, for us to make a decision. So do they pass or do they fail? And these standards are typically set at a specific score. 80% as the pass-fail mark. Um, and these are most often used for, for assessments in which you're trying to identify competence or make, make certification judgments. 